I bought this floor fan to get a little airflow in the garage, but as you can see, I don't have a lot of room in my garage for it. I could clean up the garage, or I could take this fan and mount it up there in the ceiling in such a way it's not going to get in the way of the garage door, and yet I'll still be able to direct it with this fancy remote oscillation function to wherever I want it. My first thought was drilling a few holes in the base and just screwing it up to the ceiling, but that would make the fan head a little bit too low. It also feels like this base might even have some cast iron inside of it, so drilling through it could be exciting. But it's quite heavy, and I figure there's no need to have all that weight mounted overhead. So, I'm going to either mount to this post, or that post, or maybe even drill some holes and mount to this last bit here, because the power comes in there, so there's nothing, nothing, you know, from here up that I need to worry about hitting. This adjustable post, like, goes up six inches, so it's not really worth keeping, I don't think. Um, there's a couple of screw holes here. I think if I take those out, I can maybe take this post out of this plastic bit. So no, I wasn't imagining things. That post really is just that short. So that there is still a little shorter than I want. If I mount it over at the corner, I don't necessarily have to worry about hitting with my head, but I definitely want it higher up. If I mount it here, I definitely want it higher up, ideally just right underneath this bracket. So it looks like I might not need much or any of that post thinking something like that might be the way to go. Alright, this guy has 120 degrees of motion, and about that is as far as I want it to go this way towards my bench, and I want to get as much as possible to hit a lot of other spots in my garage. So, right there, the back of that is where I want a screw hole for that bracket. So far I'm thinking about voiding my warranty, but now we're going to void it. Alright, two inch bolt goes through there very nicely. You'll notice that if I was on a drill press this would have gone a little straighter. It's a little bit of an angle. Now I've decided up against this 90 degree angle piece, kind of right in there, would be the best place to put this, but I have a bolt sticking out this way, so I'm going to have to take that off, reverse it, put it in the other way. It'll still stick out a little bit, it'll push this out just a little bit. I'm not worried about getting it perfectly straight, because this bracket isn't perfectly straight anyways. But then I should be able to stick it in there with the bolt and a couple of zip ties to hold it in place. Alright, so this is a 5 16 by 18 bolt which uh, fits the holes in my bracket very nicely, and a nut. And that's all I'm going to use to hold this thing up, other than a couple of zip ties for stabilization. Now this is a piece of plastic, so I don't want to tighten it too tightly. And I'm definitely going to put a little bit of Loctite thread locker on the back of this guy because this fan's going to be vibrating. I don't want it vibrating that nut off. Alright, so this guy's holding all the weight, but it still wiggles because it's only one point of contact. So I'm going to be using this pretty serious looking uh, zip tie around the bottom here to give us some stability. So yeah, now that thing's Probably not going anywhere. Right, I was lucky enough to not cover the infrared sensor with my uh, zip tie. So I have a fan here that can be directed at my workbench, or I can move it around to other places in the shop wherever I happen to be standing. Now from a safety standpoint, I'm pretty sure that bolt through both sides of the piece of plastic is going to have enough strength to hold this fan up. It's a pretty light plastic fan. Um, only thing you have to consider is that this rotating head bit 
is designed to be flipped the other way, so it's designed to have gravity holding it together, not necessarily fighting against the force of gravity. So it's possible the head part's going to fall off of this fan. So you want to have it someplace where you're not having people stand under it. This is actually right at my head height, so I would never be standing under it unless I was bending over there. Um, you know, so you want to be careful of overhead objects and not have them drop on people. But in general, this guy's light enough, I'm not terribly worried about it. As an added bonus, I have a weighted base with a 6-inch extension pole on it. Not sure what I can do with that, but I'm sure it'll come in useful for something.